welcome to take care guys this is sort of here and today i'm back with some higher end shooting games on this xiaomi redmi 4 well it is a xiaomi redmi 4 and the scratch test is in the card make sure you check that i will be starting with the dead trigger 2 and then comes all the other games well i'm playing the dead trigger 2 on the highest mode possible so yes uh, it is the highest mode in dead trigger 2 and uh, i see no fame drops which is a pretty remarkable thing still now anyways uh, talking about the gameplay I do expect one or two fame drops. I still I do expect because uh, with my experience with the uh, Dead Trigger 2 for around one year, I think that there must be one or two fame drops when there will be too many zombies at a time. Anyways, uh, still now uh, I'm playing this game without any issues. Uh, let me again uh, remember. Uh, let me again remind you that this phone scored around 61,000 61, on the i 2 and scored a staggering 59.9. FPS on the Nena Mark 2 although having a 1080p display well I don't know whether you have noticed or not but there was a sudden frame drop and then uh, the phone recovered it completely in a pretty good manner uh, so if you ask me whether I'm happy with the performance or not well yes I'm definitely happy and coming to the unkilled well previously the red trigger 2 was in a night mode in the night environment lowly but you can see the gra graphics details and the output here you can see how detailed the graphics are, how well it has been rendered by the Adreno 506 maybe, I believe Adreno 506 in there, <laughs> pardon on my knowledge, I'm sorry, I just can't remember the name actually. But do check our uh, benchmarking video, there I have clearly mentioned which GPU is there from Adreno. Well, touch is very much fluid and responsive. Although even after a scratch test, not a single scratch and yes, it performs excellent. Display, 1080p display, 441 ppi, crisp and clear, no issues whatsoever. I'm again telling you guys, pretty happy with the unkill performance and I was pretty 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 happy with the Dead Trigger 2 performance as well. Now coming the kick-ass games, the Modern Combat 5. Well guys, I know you people are getting bored from my commentary. I know I suck at this, but I have to do this. Anyways guys, uh, I will be uh, killing a lot of your time in this case. There will be, you know, a lot of long gameplay video. I mean, more uh, around few more minutes, like 3 to 4 minutes. I will be playing uh, this Modern Combat 5 and the Nova 3 uh, as much as possible so that you people can have a sense of how powerful uh, and how good the game gameplay will be in this device and how powerful the snapdragon 625 is and i can guarantee you when you will see the temperature let me just uh, brighten the screen even more and i can i can easily can tell you that when you will see the temperature you will get amazed so please stay with this video guys i'm telling you please stay with this video this is the most graphics intensive part of this game I'm gonna keep my mouth shut so that you can define what happens. Well, I can't keep calm because it is you know, it's playing flawlessly, no issues, not a single, not a single, single frame drop. I'm amazed guys, uh, a 1080p display, 441 ppi, I mean, though, though a few amount of heating and the gameplay is out of the world, really, and the overall experience is outstanding, the speaker quality is, is of top notch quality, loud, clear. I can't expect more. Well, now Nova 3. I'm still not facing a single lag. Yes, uh, this game has a few sections while the gameplay is going on. You can see the screen goes, you know, somehow hazy or like that. That's the most graphics intensive part. And at that very moment, guys, uh, in other uh, devices, I have seen that the gameplay freezes or frame drops are visible. But I am really admiring this Snapdragon you know 625 clearly it's a boss it really you know renders the graphics in a pretty good manner it's fast it's swift it doesn't you know heat up that much and it doesn't uh, 
draw a lot of battery backup so yeah at least a power pack solution at a price tag of you know 10 or 11 thousand for indian consumers upcoming january or february it will be available in india really awesome anyways uh gonna keep my mouth shut enjoy the gameplay and guys do let me know what you feel well the temperature is around 27 on the environment 36 36 37 on the back 37.9 on the back 38 on the front well remarkable not even a, over 40 excellent well guys like this video share with your friends please like if you want share with share that subscribe to my channel and other videos will be in the cards or in the description regarding redmi 4 stay awesome stay subscribed bye bye now